Good morning, boys and girls. Thanks so much for staying in your seats for this children's moment. Don't worry, we'll have crayons and paper in the back once this is done. But for now, I just want to call your attention to something that's really special. Okay, so in the Bible, Paul writes about the body of Jesus. And he talks about each one of us being a part of that body. Here's what he has to say. Here's what I mean, Paul says. The body is not made of one large part, but of many different parts. Would it seem right for the foot to cry out, I'm not a hand, so I couldn't be part of this body. Even if it did, it wouldn't be any less joined to the body. And what about an ear? If an ear started to whine, I'm not an eye. I shouldn't be attached to this body. In all of its pouting, it's still part of the body. Imagine if the entire body was an eye. How would a giant eye be able to hear? Or if the entire body were an ear, how would it be able to smell? This is where God comes in. God has meticulously put this body together. He placed each part in the exact place to perform the exact function he wanted. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 14 to 18. And what Paul is basically saying, which you boys and girls are very smart, and I think you've already begun to piece it together, that in order to form a church, it requires a lot of people to come together. And not everyone's going to be the same. We're going to have special things to bring to this church body, which is the body of Jesus, so that everyone participating together can share that experience. Now, I'm going to show you something. Listen closely, because guitar is going to make some sounds. Here is one note all by itself. Here's another note all by itself. When you put these notes together, which, by the way, these notes sound pretty good all by themselves. Put them together. Ooh. And the chord has such a beautiful sound. In fact, I can add a note by singing or different notes by singing as well. Hello, kids. I miss you. I wish I were there with you. Happy Sabbath. Imagine each of these notes all by themselves. It's not quite fun, is it? Now, God intended for all these notes to be combined to produce beautiful music. So let's go back to Paul's story. Paul's talking about all these people that if they come together, they can show who God is in a more beautiful way if they work together. The flip side of this is true too. Think about this. Imagine running in your house, which your parents probably say you shouldn't do, and let's just say you're running in your house and someone left the chair out just a little bit further than they should have, and you're Pinky toe hits the chair as you're running and ouch, oh my, that feels horrible because you've stubbed your toe. That pinky toe, I'm going to guess, is not the only thing that's going to hurt in your body. Every other part of you is going to be like, ah, your brain is going to be like, ah, and your pinky is going to be like, ah, and the rest of your leg is going to be like, ah. And every part of you is going to be like, ah. When one part of the body hurts, all of the body hurts. Listen closely in today's sermon. Because I want you to notice if you can see how one person's suffering. If others had been there for that person, if it would have made that load a lot less heavy for them to carry. And as you go through your day, as you go through the Sabbath, or as you go through... Uh, different parts of your week, be open to see if the Holy Spirit is speaking to your heart that maybe you might be able to play a part in bringing someone else some joy or some peace. Because as we are learning, we are all in this together. Blessings and have a wonderful Sabbath. Don't forget to go to the back. We've got crayons and we've got coloring pages for you. Even those who are sitting upstairs, come on down right there in the back of the church. You can pick up your stuff. Have a great Sabbath. And we'll see you next week.